Hello ladies and gentlemen and um, once again welcome to my Team Fortress 2 items review so yeah all of these items are from the Poker Night 2 that you have to play the game and earn the achievement to unlock so long <laughs> so always a uh, heavy 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 sniper wait wait, wait, wait. no he's at the back ah crap here we go the fifth one is where you go here we go the fifth one is the samsung skewer a knife for the heavy and yeah the knife have have two types of style one is menacing that put on the uh, wait, left or right? Left, no right. Right side of the heavies um, behind and the threatening is at the left side where it's placed on the left side of the heavies back side. So there are two, two, two separate styles for, for the heavy and do they have any other styles for the other classes? Uh, where is it? Here we go. Sam, nope, there's no set of style. Scout, nope. Necromancon, no, and the Dapper Disguise, no. So yeah, only the sword has a set of the style for the heavy, and yeah, I'll be doing the video now to review it in third person view. So hopefully you guys enjoy. I'll be opening it on later. Yeah, thank you. So here we are. Now I'm testing out the first one. Is for the scout for the long fall loafers, and yeah, this item does not. And uh, I mean does not reduce the fall damage as you wear it because as you can see as what it says The impact will be absorbed then completely redistribute to whole pain red body So that means it's not like in the portal 2 or portal 1 where you can wear the shoe and you jump as high as Whatever height of the area and you fall and you don't do damage, but this one is different This one if you fall also you also get damage and it is for scout so let's, let's see go. Oh, is it? Here we go well, as you, as you can see, the scout's legs are now bent upward as in like a normal lady shoe that wears high heels instead of low heels. So, yeah, let's, let's see on let's the go. It's more easier that way. Yeah, as you can see, the scout's legs are now bent upwards like wearing a high, high heels. And, well, it looks kind of cool, but... For Scout, I don't think it's kind of look nice as he's like wearing a lady's shoes instead of a man's shoes. <laughs> look awkwardish. So yeah, the next one will be Pyro. So wait, let me try to change the class. So the next one is from uh, is for the Pyro, the Necromonicon. It's from the evil, I mean from Ash, the Army of Darkness, as the evil Ash wears the hat one and yeah, it looks kind of very menacing, but not so menacing as a as a as a skull skull helmet for all the classes. But it's still really quite good. But I don't know why they give it to Pyro though, since the Pyro is not so like style for the head. Maybe they should give it to Demo Man instead. If you know you know about Demo Knight, and if you watch the Ash, the Army of Darkness, they're mostly about shooting and killing all the skeleton army and and all. So. 
Yeah, the pyro one is also quite good, but I think it's better put it in demo mat instead of, of pyro. So, yeah, okay, I'll show you the next one for the heavy. Uh, wait, is it? So, yeah, the next one is for the heavy, and as I, as I said, the heavy have a two set of styles. As you can see, I'm now set it at the mm, threatening part where the knife is at the left side of the heavy's back. So, if I set it to menacing and it will automatically jump into the right side of the handle. The, 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 the difference between menacing and threatening is threatening mostly looks at it it's like more scarier because you always take your knife from your from from your right side of your hand so when if you set it at the set it at threatening it's like you always want to kill people by using your left hand instead but i don't know about left or right hands people using to use a knife but i'm mostly a left-handed type of the knife user so um i'll go i'll be putting it at the left side so it looks more good that way so yeah i'll be wait let me refresh it okay. and yeah as you can see it's not on the left side which looks kind of hmm looks kind of weird it's like hanging on at the belt right yeah it's hanging on the belt so let's try putting it on the right side and see set it to menacing okay flash and can we see it oops uh come on sometimes the item refresh is very so slow Whoops. oh it starts Oh well, as you can see, it's now stuck on the left side, but never mind, probably can change the right side if I keep on doing some other stuff. No! So yeah, that is, that is from the, that is, what, the Samsung screen, is it? You have panting alert. What item? Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> Sorry about that. So, yeah. No! And now next is the Bloodhound. Uh, yeah, I, I forgot to mention about the Bloodhound. It's, it's actually for Sniper and Spy, which I didn't mention. I, I thought it was for Sniper, but it's also used for Spy, so I'll be showing it on both classes. I mean, I'll show it on Sniper first, but I'll show it to Spy, so yeah, let me change it. So the next item will be the Bloodhound, and it's, a, it's for Sniper and the Spy, but I'll only show it to the spy, uh, Sniper because uh, they have more interactive with it so as you can see if I use a sniper and you have a crookie on your hand you can take off it, the, the hat and you can show it you got blood on my knife mate mm -hmm. and okay, you can I see the head looks the head looks really awkwardish as in they have a very curve of the head as in you curve right up and it shows like a hat <laughs> and when you have to say like a bump on your head or something like that <laughs> which is kind of funny so there's nothing special about it, it's just a Good hat as normal, any normal other hat as you can see from my collection. So I'm not so okay, very surprised I with this hat because it looks kind of awkwardish and I'm not going to wear it as you can notice. So next up will be the spy which is kind of special, I'll show you to you right now. Okay, the next one is the sniper, I mean the sniper, but the spy, the spy's two item, the bloodhound and the dapper disguise. The Bloodhound can be wear as a hat for the snipe, for the spy, but I think I'll remove it because it's already you know this. So I'll be showing you off the Dapper Disguise. Something is not right about the Dapper Disguise for now because they have a glitch with the how to say the, the, the spy's face figure, which every time if you turn uh, turn the knife or the gun, as you can see, it looks uh. very how to say the spy's face and um, gone out of the anger area and you quit. So yeah, as you can see, knife at home. Just lay your weapon yeah, down the and walk away. Yeah, the face looks kind of awkward and glitch a lot. So hopefully, Slam I'm hopefully the valve could fix it of the dapper disguise uh, face Slam mask. So it will not go very how to say out of the line of the mask. So you can see you can, you can see the spice mask going out of the mask, which is gonna look very awkward. Like a as you know, tongue, you see? <laughs> Quite funny. <laughs> So yeah, really it, yeah that ends for all the 5 items from the Poconite 2 and if you guys want to buy Poconite 2, I say you can buy it but to play it, well it's really hard to earn the achievement because you have to know how to play poker but since I have made some videos of it, probably you can, guys can learn from the video and 
and how to play the poker uh, poker hold them instead of Omaha because I never I usually never like play to Omaha it seems too easy for it hold them is more harder for me the type of the play of the card so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy all these new TF2 items and please subscribe or like any of the video of whatever I post so I'll be making it more and yeah I think my RV RV Oculus Rift will be will be next and hopefully they can shift it before before this month or something like that because for some reason they haven't shipped to Malaysia yet and then they only only put it on ready so when it when it comes I hopefully you guys will enjoy my little bit demonstration of the OC Oculus so yeah thanks bye